<laughs> Hi, I'm going to steal a video from my friend Kathy, which is questions. Questions of first times questions. Here we go. What was your first car? I don't have a car. My first car actually was, um, you know, those toy cars with the yellow roofs and like the red doors. That was my first car. Next question. When was the first time you got stitches? Um, I was at a friend's house and I was probably about eight and he had this really thick carpet and we were skidding on it because it was really soft and you could just like slide around, like you run and skid. And I did that. And at one point I got up and my knee was bleeding. And I was like, whoa. And then it was bleeding a lot. I don't know what it was. I don't know if I skidded over some glass or Lego. Could have been Lego, but I just had this really deep cut on my knee. And technically they didn't actually give me stitches in the hospital. They super glued it back together with some like surgical glue. But yeah, that's kind of stitches, I guess. When was the first, when was the first time you stayed up all late? When was the first time you stayed up all night and watched the sunrise? Um, at university when I was doing a group project and we, we'd made a film, like a 10 minute film. And we all thought that we were doing it on time. And it came to the deadline, like the next day was the deadline and we were still editing. And we were like, it's all right, it's all right. We'll, we'll keep editing until we're done. So it got to like 10 p.m. We were like, wow, it was late, isn't it? Got to 4 a.m., still editing. We just had like a few scenes left to do, but for some reason they were just taking forever. And it got to like 6 a.m. We actually ended up editing all the way up until the deadline the next day. We saw the sun come up. It was so depressing, but handing that in was a huge relief. And I don't think I even slept. I think we ended up going out for food to celebrate. Um, that really screwed with my head that day. What was the first thing you learned to cook? Um, risotto, weirdly. Uh, I mean, probably actually pasta or pizza or something. But I remember risotto was like the first thing I was like, I'm gonna cook something, I'm gonna learn to cook. And that's all I knew for like, a few months and I just get making it over and over again it takes a while to make when was the first time you flew on an airplane I had a school trip in sixth form to Iceland I had never flown an airplane my family I used to go on holiday all the time but my family would either drive there or they take a ferry but never been in a plane when was the first time you quit a job Ooh. Um, I worked at Hollister for a little bit like a really short while while I was at uni I got the job and it was in London it was like their new branch in, in the Piccadilly Circus and I was a uni, like an hour away. So every time I went to the job, I had to travel for an hour to get there. And they, I guess they overhired because they were just, they weren't giving us any shifts. They were just saying like, you, got, you haven't got a timetable, you just need to cover people, which, I mean, it was my first job and I was a bit like, is this normal? I got to the point where they gave me a rotor of one hour and one hour shift and it would take me an hour to get there in fact i'd spend more getting there than i would earn in that hour and i just didn't go in i've had loads of jobs since then and <laughs> behaved a lot better but that it was my first job and it was so just they didn't care like they didn't even know my name when they called me up it was very bizarre usually i leave a job on good terms what was your first regrettable hairstyle my first regrettable hairstyle would have been when i I don't even know, <laughs> I've got loads. I remember when I first, because I used to have like a buzz cut up until I was about 15, and then I was like, I'm gonna experiment with my hair, and I just grew it out. I didn't do anything to it. And for styling, I just, I put it under the shower, and then I didn't dry it. I went to school with wet hair, thinking that it was in some way interesting, and it looked horrible. I looked greasy, it looked blah. I remember people coming up to me being like, why don't you cut your hair? Like, what, what are you doing? And, and, you know, I was about 15, so I was like, I don't know, and just got really shy about it. Oh, it's bad. And then I, and then I like, it became a bit better, but it was still a bit embarrassing. It was all kind of, started straightening my hair, doing that whole thing. And then I dyed it blonde, and I was blonde for a while, but that's, that's a different, that's a different story. How old were you when you had your first kiss? Um, I was 17, but I was a very shy kid and, me and my friends didn't really like go out and meet girls. I mean, do you at that age? You, you didn't know girls, but we didn't. I went to an all boys school, so I was part of the like small kind of unpopular group. And we just didn't really, I didn't know any girls. 
And yeah, so 17 was when I had my first kiss. Unless you count the one I had when I was about four, but that was just with my childhood girlfriend. That wasn't a kiss, that was like a headbutt probably. When was the first time you went fishing? Never been fishing. How old were you when you got your first computer? I was very young actually. I've used computers from a very young age. We had an Amiga that I don't even know if it did computer stuff. I think it just played games. Actually, I, I think you probably could do stuff on it, like basic coding, um, like basic typing and stuff. But we just used to play loads of games on it. We played Soccer Kid, we played this weird Quavers game. It was like sponsored by Quavers. It had like a whole backstory. It had like a full on story based around the crisps, Quavers. It was pretty weird. Last one, when was the first time you stood up for yourself? <laughs> I had a friend growing up who, uh, he was a good friend, like we were, we were really close, but he was quite controlling and he was always sort of like the leader between us. And I remember standing up to him one time, just being like, I don't want to do what you want to do. I don't want to do that. And he outright just called me a bully and said I was bullying him for disagreeing with him. Um, that is the end of questions. New comic is up for Deskhood, and we're entering into new, a new story arc soon. So, there'll be a new title page, and yay! The work going. So yeah, check that out. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like. I'll subscribe too, to me. I, I'm really bad at ending videos, aren't I?